What's up, what's up? It's your girl Shakira from Daytona Beach, Florida. Right now we're at the Circus Bar. Shout out to my boy Kodak Blow Up. Thank you for coming to Daytona. Gonna walk you through one of the known little spots, little chill spot. Don't get too much credit, but yeah, we finna walk into ages. It's like a bust down spot, little trap, chill. People normally come up here, they just come up here, have a good time, have a drink, shoot darts, hang out. On Fridays and Saturdays, it's lit. I'm telling you, this whole parking lot be filled up. It's like a block party every weekend. It's a mixed bar, so you're gonna see some of everything, the unexpected. For what? My document. On what? Me. Don't we get a notion you had to get up and push your first? No, because by me. By you? Yeah. Say what's up to Kodak Floa. Say what's up to the camera. I'm putting on for Daytona. Tell them about Daytona. I can't tell them about Daytona. You can't. You can tell them about Campbell. No, 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 not a deal. No, 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 not a deal. Uncle Pee Wee. Brother! Oh, you did say that. Brother! Yep, out of there, out of there already. Y'all, this is my brother. Like, we grew up. Trench, trench baby. Trench baby, for real. So this is what we do. Come in here, shoot dark. They be on the game, watching the game. Who all playing? Who ain't still playing? No. Put me in. Bookie! <laughs> this is Bookie. Follow him on TikTok. Yeah. Comedian. One of my top shotters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all put me in. Put me in. Put me in. What's all been doing? So we Bust just come down. up. Bust Pretty down. Bust down. Bust down. Trying to get to these dollar bills. We got gas money. <laughs> gas money. Low key. We have gas money. This is what we do. We have gas money in Daytona. This is gas money. Not that shit in your car. <laughs> Still flipping and whipping and killing these bitches. We out here. Come fuck with you, boy. Well, tell them about the South Side. Oh, South Side? Well, we just came out. Just, you know, shit, where y'all was at? Yeah. yeah. Where y'all was at? My house. Soul City. Oh, shit, man. Out there in the city, but you already know. Just tell them about the South Side, period. Well, that ain't my side of town. Shit, it ain't my side of town either. Shoot. North Side. Yeah. <laughs> he said he don't even want to talk about it. Well, you up first, brother. I can't even right. say too much nothing about the South Side because I really don't know because I ain't from that side of town. But at the end of the day, it's like I'm from Daytona. So when you on the South Side of Daytona, just know you is really on the South Side. So just think about the South Side of your city. Whatever they go on in the South Side of your city, it's the same thing pretty much in this city and this city. So yeah, you got your projects, you got your hoods. It's like. Pretty much separated. Like South Side is dangerous over there, man. You, you don't know what's really gonna what's go down, that? especially in Daytona. Has it kind of changed in the last 10, 15 years? Oh yeah, it changed a lot, man. It used to be well, we used to have BCR in Spring Break Hill. You know what I'm saying? And that changed because somebody got shot over there. They got killed over there. They got robbed by the car. And that changed. I think that was like 2006 or seven. And then they moved it all the way down south to Miami. That's why they got the Spring Bling to Miami now. But other than that. Shit, it's pretty much pretty much the same. Pretty much the same, but a few little ups and downs and different changes. So if you ever been down here before for BCR, just know you was in a great place. <laughs> you was in a great place at a great time. But if you haven't ever experienced it, hey man, you just ain't never experienced it. I wasn't in last place either, fool. But anyway. Welcome to Daytona, man. This is what is going on right now. You in the bar. This is Aegis Liquor Lounge. Probably the best drinks in the world. Yeah. And they're definitely cheap, so we finna get lit, man. You know, enjoy yourself. Me on social media before I get up out of here. Oh, man. Shoot. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok, Bookie LaFleur, or Facebook, or Instagram. It's the same thing, Bookie LaFleur. Just pull it up. You'll see Team Motivation. 
We out here, BDG, bust down game. He's still out here flipping and whipping and killing these bitches at all ways, you know, <laughs> keeping our feet on the concrete, you know. That's what we do. Yeah, so appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Now. On the phone. This is my ace boom. What I'm in here. She acting shy and shit. I don't know why she acting shy. She, she said she's about her boys. She won't problems. She said we're gonna start some problems. Ain't nobody worried about the problems. You want me to tell y'all about they told Tell us about it. Tell the Sunshine world State. about it. It's the best place. But hey, we got the bitch niggas that got some like hoes. The hoes fucking everybody. The niggas fucking everybody. Hey, so it is what it is. Love it or hate it. We got some hating ass people around this bitch. I can tell them suck my dick. Do the same. But while you're on, whenever you know tourists, when tourists will come out here, it would be a good place just to go check out out here. You know, hearing this, slick. from that area. He asked that question? Yeah. I hear it. I hear you. know, I got a lot of people that are not from this area, you know that. Man, they don't know that Tony got hoods. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shit. Nigga, the beach area. <laughs> this is it right here, like shit. Wherever she go, that's where you wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> wherever she go, wherever y'all go at that, that's where you go. We got spots, it's just you gotta be with somebody to, to know where to go. Cause everybody, like you say, think about the beach. It's not about the beach. Especially now. You gotta get in the hood. You gotta get in the hood. Two sides, right. What? They told it they told me. Me personally? Oh, look, this one bad. Get some bowl. Let's let it out. Oh, get out there, man. Get out there. Get the food in there. Yeah, see, these people be scared of the man, camera. This is why shit. I'm doing this, too. Look, this is, a this is a decent spot to come to, especially Wednesday through what, Saturday. Yeah, Wednesday through Saturday. Hit the Barrettes. That shit back up and popping. You feel me? As far as that's, that's all I like to do as far as the black spots. That's it. But you got to know somebody to know where to go in the hood. It ain't, they, it's like she said, it's Daytona and Daytona Beach. Yeah. Facts. Appreciate that. Facts. Hey. You don't got no social media you want to let them know? They want to follow you? If you don't, if you want, you don't really. Nah. 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 Appreciate you though. Hey, girl. Girl. I don't be on social media like that. I had growing up. No, growing up with me. I told you, I don't growing up in the neighborhood. He's a good kid. Lie. I taught him what he's a good kid. I'm hard headed. You are hard headed. You real quiet. Look, see? I was what? Real what? You were very quiet. But what? I, I, I don't understand no but. I can't tell you no but. Cause I ain't staying out there with y'all. I rode the bus with y'all. When I moved out there, there, when I stayed out there, everybody Bruh, was moving. Your grandma used to go to work. We used to all meet at your house. What I know that. I'm saying, but by the time I came out there, bro, I only spent like six months with y'all. That's still you was time. gone. But you was quiet. But you did have fun with that. I used to fight with y'all. Yeah. I mean, we fought to your uh, mommy and daddy too. Yep. Yeah. Also and daddy. Y'all gonna meet them later, but yeah, I'm a real hard head out. As y'all can see, it ain't nothing but guys, guys, guns and butter is what we do. Stay tuned. Yo, yo, it's truly y'all. 3K checking in. You already know Daytona Beach 386. We live, we with it. You already know. Shit coming soon. A lot of y'all 3K, I promise. My cousin, man. Hey, that man, bit, what's that going bit on, called? man? It's Jay, aka Jay Adams, man. Yes, sir. What side hey. town you from? No, I'm talking about. Oh, no, nah, he ain't from Daytona, but <laughs> get what? He read the west side like hey. a cousin, dude. Hey, oh, baby. Hey, Old Town all day, man. Palm Beach County finest. Hey, y'all want to get some good breakfast? Y'all holler at the Ultimate Omni House right down Ridgewood. Yes, man. sir. Y'all come see me early in the morning. Yon. I'm up early. Fuck with your boy. Right now, we, um, we still on the west side of Daytona. We at my cousin's house. Long live Ken. Long live Stu. This is baby Kamala. This is wife Raven. This is a household. Um, I'm going to let Raven talk. You know. This right now, is, it's been seven months. And we're trying to figure out who came. Basically, who came and put a head out. Because that's what I'm going to call it. That's what the streets going to call it. That's what it was. And as far as Daytona, we got so many unsolved murders to what we 
they feel like black on black crime is okay. It's not okay. It's not okay and how I feel like it's no justice, no peace. So, like, my whole point of this is for him. Like, other than that, I wouldn't be on this camera. I wouldn't be, I'm not, it's not me. I don't really care for this, but I'm gonna bring awareness to my cousin and his baby, his wife, they need it, his family need it. We need closure, we need awareness, we need to know what happened. You feel me? Baby girl out here with a fatherless, like that, that's not cool. I, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with her being without her husband because I know how hard it was for my cousin to even come to terms. Like this was his family. I don't care what the streets say. They tell me can say what they want, but y'all don't know Ken. Y'all don't know Ken like we knew Ken, for real. So they can say what they want, but they don't know nothing. There's a lot of people talking, Toya. Don't believe that. That hype, don't believe that. My biggest enemy is my own blood cousin of my cousin that was killed. So y'all tell me what's real and what's fake. Y'all tell me if y'all know Daytona. Because y'all don't know Daytona. But Raven, go ahead. I'm not really a talker, but... Me either. <clears throat> We're not talking. I'm just going to say this and I'm going to just keep it short and simple. Like she said, what y'all think y'all knew about Stu, y'all didn't know. What y'all, what he may present it to the streets, that's just, that's just what street niggas do. But what he did when he came between, through hey, these doors, to that's, that's a whole other story. But I don't have to go into detail about what I went oh, through or what we went through, uh, how he felt or none of that, because I know. But I just don't want nobody to forget about him because he's not nothing to be forgot about. He came out, he was only out in the world not even five years after getting out of prison. Is that my hell? Yeah. I like you. Basically, he I came out and like stunned on you niggas and you niggas didn't like it. That's, that's just how I take it. I love you. But Thank you. That's gonna always Thank be my nigga. Me. I don't give a fuck what Thank you hoes say. Or, what the streets yes, say, sir. what other family members say, I don't care about none of that, because at the end of the day, I know. Forever and love. <laughs> I know, but that's all I'm going to say. Kira know, right, Kira? I know. <laughs> you feel me? And it's a lot of people cap raving. Please tell them about the cap. Cap, they ain't no rap. Please. Listen. Please tell them to cut the cap out. Hey, everybody be capping. Everybody Do I know capping. what's going on? But am I trying to figure out what's going on? It's a difference. It's a difference from knowing and actually, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for life. I've been here since the beginning before baby girl. Listen, if <laughs> I've been here. She knew about me before I knew about her. Exactly. Put it like that. <laughs> Put it like that. And I was on my cousin ass body, you know? Yeah, for real. And that's that Gemini engine. But even, even still, I made, I made that nigga, I made him who he was. Cause he ain't know nothing about being a real man, you know. At all. Man, taking care of He didn't even man, half of y'all hoes that be around him. Counts, all that shit. He ain't know nothing about that. Paid off cars, you know, just wanting better shit. It was me and her who got his first call. <laughs> okay, I was done with my baby signing them papers. He was I on was the phone with her. Y'all crazy? Y'all wasn't there when he was in them and behind them doors. Uh, as far as to my knowledge, it was just me and her pulling up to make sure he ate. Especially towards the end, cause bitch, I'm, I'm there breakfast, lunch, and motherfucking dinner. Yeah, tell me. Food, the only time right. he called me if she wasn't enough. <laughs> and I'm still pulling up if she was. Okay, he may be eating the meal she bought. And we talking, okay, well, this the one you need to keep. Keep. I got on his ass by her. When he got beat up, I congratulated her. <laughs> to him. Respect. <laughs> So this household, this right here, North Street, this right here, this 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 stew stamp. This way it all started. This this, this stew stamp, you feel me? <laughs> this can stamp, can store it. This way it all started. This who I'm doing it for. Her right here, her right here, Kamala, say hey, say hey, real quick. Tell them <laughs> hey. No. Cause she ain't friendly like her daddy. Period. 
And that's 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 for real. That's for real. But just know this this who we're doing it for. This what it is. It's Daytona. Like it's people getting killed right here and we trying to bring awareness. Ain't nobody doing nothing, ain't nobody saying nothing. It's a lot of this in the streets, but ain't nobody stepping. For real. I'ma step up silently. And I'ma make sure all my people good. I don't know what else what else, what else they do around here, but I know I, all my people good, as y'all can see. I'm good anywhere I go. I'm gonna take y'all to the neighborhood, like where me and Ken grew up. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Like, it's gonna be people that see this and be like, oh, that's my cousin. No, they're not. They're not my cousin. If you don't see them on this video, they don't know me. They don't fuck with me. They ain't my people. I don't know them. They real haters. Like, fly, say. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, you did. They real haters, like, fly, say. They don't know me. They mad. Y'all gonna be mad, y'all gonna stay mad, but a bitch ain't gonna touch me. So this is, okay, so let me go. Let's, let's walk down here real quick. We're gonna walk down here so I can show y'all. But right now, if you guys turn around and look back there, you guys can actually see Bethune Cookman dormitory. Um, most likely those people on the basketball field are Cookman students. This is Bethune Cookman area. This is what we call the AB. You guys call it Mayor Bukabathon, tourists, that's what y'all call it. Y'all come here on bike week, truck week, or just visiting the city. Y'all see it as Mayor Bukabathon, but really, we call this the Ave. When we come to the Ave, we come in the hangout, we come in the bus down, and we come in the network. I'm gonna say that. So, I'm gonna show y'all the street sign, where we at right now. Because it's historic. Mayor Bukai Bethune paved the way, as y'all know. It's the HBCU in the world. There's been a little hiccups, but at the end of the day, Daytona is proud of Cookman. Cookman has done a lot for us. So, right now, we're on Mayor Bukai Bethune and Pearl. It's Pearl. Across the street, we got a salon shop, we got Styles One on One. We got the boutique over there. Typically, we got a Jamaican restaurant right here in this plaza. If we walk a little up, if you even keep going straight, we keep going straight, we'll be dead set in the middle of Bethune Cookman Emission Hall. So this street right here take you through the whole Cookman route. So you'll pass the emissions, you'll pass the walkway, the typical route of the students where they walk back and forth. You'll come up on Bethune Grill, which is the popular food spot for the Cookman students, also for tourists. Um, shout out to Champ, Champ Sauce Bethune Grill. Shout out to y'all. But you know, this 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 what it is. This is what we see on the day to day. Like we come up here to hang out to see our everyday people. As far as tourists, y'all look at it as a one day shop. But as you can see, it's people out here every day. And Second Ave, like I said, we call this the Ave. You see where it says Second Ave Plaza. Y'all know it as Mary Poppins Bowl, but we know this as the Ave. So you can hit the Ave right when you come off the inter interstate. International turns into the Ave. When you hit Mary Poppins you're on the Ave. And it goes all the way to Ridgewood. One stop shot. One stop shot. So right now we're gonna walk to the Brits. It's a historic club as far as, I've heard about it since I've grown up. I'm about to be 33. So I know since VCR, like my daddy and my daddy people know about this club. It's a it's family owned business, black owned at that, in the historic district of Daytona. It don't get that much recognition. Daytona tried to shut it down because is black owned. Um, anything in Daytona, the white people try to shut it down. I don't know why. We don't got that much, but as you can see, I'm trying to highlight because everybody says so, all these bad things about Cookman, the Cookman this, Cookman that. Cookman is the highlight of Daytona. Um, y'all know, y'all watch Drumline. 
Cookman was a highlight of Drumline. They reached out to Cookman personally and wanted them for Drumline because they are big in that scene. We're real big on that. We finna see if we can get in here. They say it's open. They called me and told me to come up. Get in here. This is a historic club in Daytona as far as biker gang, as far as the race cars, Daytona 500, truck stop. Everybody gonna come here. Every night, everybody that been here. Like this is something I grew up had to sneak in here. So being able to walk in here as a grown-up is everything. So this is what it is. Right now it's Sunday, so it ain't as packed, but typically you see we they got the hookahs. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? They got pool tables. Over here. The fucking mess. The mirrors, you know, all lights like to twerk, so they're not to see themselves in the mirror. I'm not a twerk. Of course, they got the dark board. Y'all seen what we was just saying. Y'all know I like to shoot dark, but they dark board. So, this is the dance floor. Like I said, it's Sunday, so it's dead right now, but typically this will be filled up to where you can't even walk through it. You can't walk through it. It be so filled up. So this is the bridge. Y'all probably see it on um, Sunshine Barrettes. If you follow Miss Remy 386, if you follow Adam E, you gonna see all of this on their they page. Shout out to them. Cause y'all paid away. Shout out to motherfucking Daytona Sticks from the West Side. He's a legend at Daytona. If you don't know his music, he was not Daytona. And I'm just saying. Um, shout out to MJQ. Shout out to Talk Boy Ryan. Y'all know we forever tied in. Blood, we tied in. Shout out to Junkie Jit at the Hooker Pub on the East Side. The only after hours spot in Daytona. Typically, when everybody leaves here, that's where they go. They going to the B side, we're going to hit the hookah pub because it's after hours. It ain't closed until about seven o'clock in the morning and anything goes. Um, I'ma let y'all come talk to some of the people from the Barrettes that's here. They love, they like my OGs, um, who I look up to. So, so y'all show me the way uh, how we got here. Like I said, y'all know they talking about Bike Week. So he is, well, he is the only one that I know in Daytona that has paved the way for a black biker game. So Barry, I want you to let the world know about, you know, what you've done for Daytona as far as the biker game setting up, how we do Bike Week. We try to do Bike Week. Uh, I'm with the Sun Chasers Motorcycle Club. I'm the Sergeant of Arms. Um, we try to bring awareness to uh, Daytona and Bike Week. Uh, they have the Roundup, which is the night, uh, National Black Bikers Roundup, where all the black bikers from all over, you don't have to be in the club, they come together once a year, they meet in various locations. But Daytona Bike Week it is one of the biggest events in the United States because it's not just black bikers, it's white bikers, it's anybody that rides a bike, usually. Uh, Descends on Daytona Beach in March, and then we have a, uh, another bike event in October called Oktoberfest. So we just try to bring awareness to, to uh, bikers, let everybody know that we're here in Daytona, and you come and have a good time. Okay, Barry, can you can you let the world know the difference between Daytona Bike Week versus Main Street? Uh, Daytona Bike Week will uh, cater to mostly all the black bikers or bikers of color. Uh, we have vendors all over Mary McLeod, Bethune, uh, food vendors, clothing vendors, music vendors, 
Um, we have the whole park that we rent for bike week. And in the park, usually we have a sound contest, best looking bike contest. So we bring a, 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 a lot to Daytona, a lot to the black community for bike week. You got questions? Uh, how long has it been open over here? Uh, we just reopened the last two years, but the bricks has always been here. It's been a staple of the community for over 20 years. I let them know that this is a historic mark. Like, you can't come to Cookman and not pass the bricks. There's no way that, you, you know, there's no way you can come to say you've been. They call, they call, you know, they call it Bear Bacabi Doom, but we call it the Ave. There's Avenue. no way you can come to Ave or the Avenue and not come to the bridge. Like, this is a historic mark as far as a historic black monument of Daytona Beach. And, and we tried to bring, um, you know, in the black community, it's a, this is a nice place you can lay back, play some pool, shoot some darts, have a drink, listen to good music, and have fun. But what we're trying to do is re revigorate all of Mary McLeod Bethune through all the black businesses we have. We have a brand new restaurant right here. We got Bethune Grill down the street. Uh, we have another restaurant there. We got car wash. We got three barbershops. So we're trying to just you know, revigorize uh, our black community and our black neighborhood. Instead of us taking all our money someplace else, put the money right back in our own black community. Mm, definitely, definitely. And uh, are you original resident of Deltona? Uh, Daytona? Uh, Daytona Beach, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach. That's home for me. Okay, so you've been here uh, majority of your life? Yes, sir. Has it changed from like when you were younger to how they know? Yes. Um, you know, one, one time, um, Daytona was the, the place to be, you know, because blacks couldn't venture out and go to the beach side and go different places. And then I think it's kind of changed and uh, uh, we patronized other businesses in other areas, but, you know, the groundwork was set here by the blacks that came before us, the business owners that came before us, like Singleton Cleaners was the only black cleaners in Daytona Beach that people could go and get their clothes Singleton, cleaned Singleton, shout out to Singleton because my, my grandma worked there. So, so it's those things that we're trying to bring back to the black community, you know, uh, and, and, and just reestablish, you know, who we are and, and what we want to do in the black community. I appreciate that. Um, one more question. You know, you said like over the bridge, how blacks could go to over the bridge, like they on the beach. Like, what was the difference between being in this side and they on the beach? What is the difference between they and Salt Lake Berry? Oh, I mean, <laughs> What's they, the they, they, bridge? well, 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 the mainland, as we call it, it, it just had more of our people, more of our cultural experiences, and what we go through on the mainland. You know, the South Life was the beach and the boardwalk. You know, it was those it, it, it was those things that that we couldn't get, but we saw all the time. So when we were able to actually go over there, it like it, it trapped us, but definitely uh, the life, the, the nightlife of, of this community is right here from MLB to MLK. So as far as this right here, this is like, it's dormitory parking for the equipment students. So this would be, majority of these people right here is from Cookman. You might have a few of us that's from Daytona that might park here, but um, the equipment students, as far as the basketball team, anybody in the athletics, they'll come out here and play basketball, which is probably what they're doing right now. Oh, 
Oh, nah, I don't even fuck with cooking like that. Is, well, this, all of them talk about this shit. Nah, you ain't got to. I'm just saying. This is a platform. I'm doing a vlog right now. Like they told me. So you can just. No, I don't go to Cookman. I live here. I don't, I don't experience what y'all experience in college life. So. I ain't really experience either. I got locals. All my people stay on the south side and shit. So I stay. Okay, but I ain't even stay on Cookman. I'm from the city. Odo, so I can't eat too much. He's from the Odo. This Kodak's low up. So. I mean, this shit is what it is. If you don't, you tell them why you don't. This is how they be in Daytona. We don't like the cameras. We don't want to talk on the camera. It, it, it's just, it's just how it is. You feel me? This is how it is. Y'all see, I'm taking y'all. This is real life. This is real life. This is real life. So this is what they do. They come out here and play basketball. He can say he ain't from cooking, but he from cooking. He ain't, he ain't grow here. He flew here. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, this, this, this is what they do. They come get, go to check up call the girls. Chicken box holes, that's what we call them. Unfortunately, that's what y'all call chicken box holes. Um, y'all come out here, y'all scope the scene, y'all see what it is. Shoot a little ball, but it's really a little trick off spot. That's what I call it. Like, this is how the cookman people mingle with cookman people and do what they do in the college life. I ain't the college life, I'm in the street life, but. This is what y'all see, this Cookman, this Cookman dormitory, this is a basketball field, aka on the side of the club. Um, but when they told us come in, we shut all this down. Like, they gotta move on, they gotta go about their business when we come around. Um, Mary Picard, Thorn, and Jefferson. Yeah, folks, typically this is our soul food place, what we call Turkey wings, some chips, you gonna come right here across the street. This is the Thorn Grill. Right now, they sold out of everything, so I'm not even gonna waste my time walking over there because it's gonna make me mad. And I'm hungry. But this is like champ sauce is stapled throughout Florida. Everybody know about the honey hot wing sauce from Champ Thorn Grill that's over there. When the tourists come, this is where they come in. Natives come here, locals come here. Everybody from Florida know about Champ. As you can see, this will go on. Everybody hang out. They come get them something to eat. Come get them some chicken wings, dip, honey sauce. Garden Street. Everybody know Garden. Everybody know the car wash that's down the road. That's Mary Picard Bethune. Fun of stuff. Same with Stowe. You know, Top Boy reported that fuck nigga right there. That's famous for that. Top Boy was recorded on this whole script right here to showcase Daytona. Shout out to my boy Rod. I don't know where you at, but fuck you up. Cause you supposed to be on this video, but it's cool. But yeah, my cousin funeral is right here. That's a funeral home right there. RJ Gaines, cousin was there right there. Long live Ken forever. They had the bikes out here real good, but. If you come to Daytona, you ain't Daytona if you ain't never ate no Bethune Grill. So they say they've been to Daytona and they ain't never had no Bethune Grill nowhere it's at. They don't know where to have at. This right here. This right here to have. You ain't been here. You can't come here. You ain't Daytona. As you can see, we got all all type of people coming. They know about the app. They know about Bethune Grill. We got chinks, the white, you know, whatever. They come into Shamps, get that Shamps sauce. Come on, <laughs> what? what you gonna do? What? What, what are you trying to do? Uh, 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 no, no what are you trying to do? No, Why are you trying to... Yeah, I come that... out both my Oh, muscles. not come out the shoe! <laughs> <laughs> what the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this this my daddy. Okay, now we in my hood. Welcome to Daytona. This is the neighborhood. This is my hood. <laughs> It's 551 Janice. <laughs> that where you grew up? It's right the nut sack I came from. That's my daddy. <laughs> Terry Stewart. <laughs> my name is Elijah. <laughs> Middle name. His Come on, give Terry. me some love. Nah. <laughs> it's my daddy. That's <laughs> why <laughs> well, you got my attitude. Daddy, everybody know you. You you sure I ain't got no more brothers and sisters? Hell to the no, no. <laughs> Hell to the he got his damn camo on too. He do, yeah. I told you yesterday I was doing. Clint, I you turn that out now. Yeah, you turn it out. Good to meet you, man. Y'all ain't burning nothing. Y'all ain't burning nothing. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs>
Cause I know y'all cheating. Let me see. <laughs> I'll blow both of y'all right now. Let me, let me see your whole hand, bro. I'll blow both of y'all right now. What's up? <laughs> let me see your whole hand. You cheating? Look, what you doing? Let me see your whole hand, bro. Let me see your whole hand. I ain't as old as you, bro. What? Say Come what? on. Yeah, say it. Go. You cheating, little bro? Let me see you, bro. Who? <laughs> you. Yeah. The cops involved. Man, come here. You know I want to smell like that shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it, though. It's my cousin, y'all. He <laughs> camera shy. He's his little baby kids running around here destroying the yard. You ain't even showing them how to run correctly. You just letting them cheat. <laughs> but, yeah, he grew up right there over there. That was his old house. No people say that, but it's my hood. Oh, yeah. That's you my from dad. North Street. It's my uncle. You from North Street? <laughs> I'm not from North Street. I just went over there. I'm not from there. I'm from Hills. It's my <laughs> uncle Freddie. This is probably the reason why I'm in boxing. Um, you up. <laughs> yeah, I grew up having to like. I wasn't raised. I was raised by these two men right here. I wasn't raised by no female. Wanna, so it wasn't no. Dollars, you yeah, I want twenty dollars. Y'all do push-ups. It wasn't no do your hair nice, paint your fingernails, want none of that. Okay. You feel my, me? So my when dog, people people try to understand, it. see, he making fun because I was in Spartan Dog, which was the dancing group. Like that's my daddy making fun because I did girl, right. we, girly stuff. We, we roll all the way down. <laughs> so yeah, this, this this is my life. People want to understand. Oh, she's so hard. This, yeah, I ain't grow up like y'all. Y'all don't know my life, y'all. <laughs> y'all probably couldn't walk a mile in my ten, ten no, toes, no, 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 ten no, shows. So, huh? Huh? No, no. No? Yeah. Um. Well, you know, I ain't got Facebook, so I, I haven't talked. And he asked me about my people in Louisiana because we stayed in Louisiana. So, this is where, when I came back from Louisiana, this is where I moved back to. Louisiana is another story. That's for part two. That's for part I, I two. I just scrub all that. <laughs> That's for part two. So right Bad now, this is this, this what y'all getting right now. This Ratchet, Janice, Ratchet. Michael, like this is what we call the hood. It's the neighborhood, but it's the hood. Um, this is where it all started though. This is where my anger started. This is where my pain started. This is where my clicks started. People I know. Keep the camera on. Some go, of the people y'all seen today. Go in there, take them with you. Y'all follow my daddy. He gonna walk y'all into the, the house. Go, go with him, Trey. I'm for sure. Go with him. <laughs> yeah. Where him? Yeah. The mom just came up. I know. Okay, you. My name is Andre, nice to meet you, man. Alright, buddy. I'm doing a vlog. Down, See ya. See ya. Yeah. 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 I got it. You got it? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So, right now, we in Seoul City. We on the south side of Daytona. This is what we call Seoul City. It's the 400 block. Y'all probably know Booby. Um, if you watch 100,000 Arts documentary about Daytona, then this is, this is what he was walking through. The slums, this is the slums of the south side. Like I said, I'm from the west side. I took y'all over there. This is not my side of town, but this is where I live. And this is what it's like in Seoul City. What you see, this this one of the playgrounds we have here for the kids. They they remodeled the place. It looks a whole lot better, but don't don't be misconstrued. It, it looks good, but it ain't all good. Um, a lot of shit go down out here. I'm talking about this is like what I've heard of Soul City growing up. This is like a a graveyard. This this apartment 
were built on a graveyard. So it's a lot of empty souls. A lot of people done lost their life out here. And that's the rent office, but shit go on every day. So we got cameras up though. They don't record. Uh, you can lose your life right here in any second. I'm talking about it from a six year old, as you can see, as kids running around playing. But these kids ain't regular kids. They know what it is. They live life like troll will come up in here at high speed chasing somebody. You got to be ready at any moment. This, this ain't no normal place. I stay right here in the 400 block, 429. As y'all can hear behind me right now, it sounds like it's about to be some confusion or something going on right now. I can't tell y'all what's going on because ain't no telling. But y'all hear it in the background. It, it, it's it's slow key finna go down. I don't know what's gonna go down, but somebody doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go knock on my homeboy though so he can tell y'all a little more about Soul City because I'm not from this side of town and he stayed right next door to me so we're gonna go knock on his door and get him out of here.